Tonight, the TikTok bill continues to advance in the U.S. Senate. The House voted to force the social media company to be spun off from its Chinese parent company within five months or be forced out of U.S. app stores. If passed, President Biden has indicated that he would sign it. Some content creators say the bill would have massive ramifications for the entertainment capital of the world. Small businesses say the app drives foot traffic and tourism. Content creators say their income is on the line. Supporters of the bill call these worries unfounded and say TikTok is not shutting down. Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz digs deeper into the Vegas impact. Featuring different restaurants here in Las Vegas. I'm a content creator and I dabble in food and travel. Bring someone into this whole new world. There's a lot of businesses that wouldn't be in existence right now if it weren't for TikTok. Definitely changed my life and also the lives of a lot of small business owners. You know them on social as Las Vegas Phil, Tulls, and Hook Del V. Together, Philip, Talia, and Damien have close to 2 million followers just on TikTok. Tourists follow them for the latest Las Vegas eats or attractions on or off the Strip. We met them at Toulajour off Spring Mountain in Chinatown, where managers say TikTok brings in customers and spring break visitors. The three worry about the passage of the TikTok bill in Congress and a worst-case scenario. Bill supporters describe as unfounded. If the bill passes, TikTok is forced to divest. If no American buyer emerges, app stores could no longer offer TikTok. Users could no longer get upgrades, making TikTok unusable for 170 million Americans. I specialize in TikTok, so when I manage clients, I usually run their TikTok pages. That means I would lose probably 99% of my business. To not have that spotlight, to not have that avenue to share their story, uh, share their business, it's going to be tough to imagine what it'd be like without it. Luckily, I've been able to build my other platforms. I think I'm just more scared for the small businesses that it would affect. Different Vegas content creators explain some rely on TikTok more than others. Influencers earn based on followers, views, and business partnerships. In a shutdown scenario, creators and users would simply pivot to another platform, though getting followers takes time. They all say the greatest impact would be on small businesses who lose an audience. That's why Congressman Stephen Horsford voted no. I oppose a ban because the impact it would have on hundreds of millions of American users and the more than 28,000 small businesses in our state that use the platform to grow their business. Congresswoman Dina Titus is among the majority of lawmakers who voted yes, citing national security concerns. The bill does not ban the social media platform, but gives TikTok six months to divest funds from ByteDance. I understand concerns from influencers who rely on content for income. I believe there are ways to support the professionals without sacrificing personal and national security. I think the six-month time frame is far too short for a deal this big. Abortion, gun control, education, terrible drivers in Vegas, and yet this is like the pressing matter. Reconsider how it would affect businesses in general, the economy as a whole. Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Here is a response from our senators on the bill. A spokesperson for Senator Cortez Masto says she believes TikTok's ties to the Chinese Communist Party are deeply concerning and that we need more information about how the app is distributing the large amounts of data it collects. She is currently reviewing this specific legislation. Meantime, a spokesperson for Senator Jackie Rosen says she recognizes that TikTok has become a popular and widely used platform across the country. She also believes that we must do more to protect the Nevadans' data from undue influence by the Chinese government and intrusion from foreign adversaries. She is reviewing the legislation passed by the House and other bipartisan proposals under discussion to address the issue.